Biographical Note of Schopenhauer in the Air by Sadakichi Hartman. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nemo. Biographical Note by A. T. Craig. When so many write, as Philip Brooks once said, though it is more difficult for the writers to reach the top, at the same time, it is an advantage to the readers to have such a variety to select from and appreciate. Always, too, in spite of the mass, the unique, the rare and noteworthy come to the fore and hold their own. A gem of oriental beauty has recently come into my hands, Sadakichi Hartman's Buddha. Surely unique and rare. Mr. Hartman is one man generally left out in the ordinary summary articles on American literature, partly because he is a foreigner, and also from the bizarre character of his writings, although he is well known through his various books, pastels, and his journalistic connection. The pages of Buddha carry one into scenes of tropical vegetation where trains of camels and gorgeous religious processions pass by and where many a colored crowd adheres to an indolent but fierce religious worship. A true mysticist is an exotic in American art and literature. In painting, A. P. Ryder, the painter of the Flying Dutchman, shows this strain distinctly. In fact, he and Sadakichi Hartman are friends, and have much in common, and both, working in out-of-the-ordinary lines, are not popularly appreciated, and perhaps cannot be. One reason for this also is their indifference to success. Both have worked at every creation of their art for years. Mr. Ryder never exhibiting his pictures publicly, and Mr. Hartman only publishing in limited editions. What the mass of human beings do, how they get along, their business and the cares which every hour brings with it, noise and ambition seem vain to them. Perhaps they have the feeling that these are not real, but illusions which lure humanity away from the true sense of living. They dislike the ordinary, and in their art presume that reality is illusion, that only art is happiness. Both are dreamers. Ryder is a dreamer of moonlight, Sadakichi Hartman, of Oriental and Luminous Twilights. They walk through life, wherever they please, creating worlds of their own. Gardens bloom with heavy sleep-bent flowers in jeweled colors, where a moon-suffused silence lies on a shimmering glitter of the leaves. They have the magic in them for creating stars and splendor out of themselves. Both live in out-of-the-way places, and can be found wandering under the heavens in lonesome spots and parks, drunk with nature's lavishness. As to Sadakichi Hartman alone, Malame, the leader of the symbolist school in Paris, has called one of his books a vast fresco, such as I dream should decorate the pleasure halls of future times. Mr. Hartman is a tall, gaunt figure, with black disheveled hair, and a pale dramatic complexion. Friends of literature have watched his endeavors, from his journalistic debut in Boston, where he came, a youth of nineteen, and without further introduction than the magnetism of personality, opened his way into the editorial columns of nearly every paper. From that time he has written now and then, not so much for money, but for enthusiasm's sake, articles on contemporary literature and art, which show a knowledge that probably stands unparalleled in this country. He wrote about Ibsen when no one here knew his name. He wrote essays on the leading most modern Scandinavian and Russian writers, and lectured on Marie Bashkirtseff long before her diary was published in England. Indeed, with the last-mentioned book, suggesting its translation he went and was received with indifference to publisher after publisher in new york 
who afterward would have been very glad to have accepted the opportunity for first introducing it. He was also probably the first to introduce the symbolistic school of writers to us, and worked with publishing houses for the introduction of the new artistic poster before anyone else did so. All this pioneering he does because of his rare aesthetic affection, a foresight and a love of those things which five years afterwards the world loves. It has been his pride to possess alone and first beautiful things, that others should learn from him what they should possess. His fight for life has been fierce and incessant. It is still a struggle. He has known hunger. He has lived his writing. Stage carpenter at the Munich Opera House, a tramp in the streets of London, by some chance of luck living like a prince in Paris and on a trip through Holland, on the barricades during the minor strike in Belgium, looking for work in the east side New York, man of letters in all parts of the world, these are some of the varied experiences through which he has passed. If some time a great author comes, whom perhaps the world affects, who will tear the mask from life, so that we may look at the truth of beauty, then Sadakichi Hartman may have been only a poor pilgrim who faltered on the way. Or, does he believe that he himself may be that one? End of Biographical Note End of Schopenhauer in the Air by Sadakichi Hartman